Hello everyone. So today we will be learning a couple of exciting things. We have a concept of in radius and its relation with three other small in red eye. So three other circles. That's the number one. Number two, to understand this relation, we have to use similar triangles. So we will learn about that and we will be also using a lot of trigonometry. So how to use half angles and trigonometry in restricted cases. So we will be learning all those things. So a bunch of concepts are in the back today. So these are the concepts and the application problem, you know, the way we have these videos is we have the concept and then we have an application problem. And that one is IOQM 2021 problem number 23. And if you are just for the answer to that, the answer is 74. Okay. So uh, we will learn that uh, con those these concepts and we will learn how to apply them in this problem. And then we will go to some practice problems and you can check the link in the description for more resources related to this. Okay. So first, as a motivation, let me tell you what the problem is. So here is the problem. We have a triangle and I can zoom it a little bit more. We have a triangle. Let's call it A, B, C. It's a scalene triangle and we have an in circle. So if you don't know what an in circle is, it's very simple. You have a circle which is sort of to which the sides of the triangles are tangent to. And there is a way to draw this circle using the angle bisectors. I'm not going into that in, at the moment. So you just have a circle like this to which the sides of the triangle ABC are tangent to. And we have the radius of this particular circle as small r. So we, we don't know the radius. <clears throat> so R is the in radius of this triangle. Okay. Now it's also given that there are three other circles. There are three other circles. One of them here. One of them here. And one of them is here. And the radius of, so I'll just give names to the centers. Uh, let's give names like this. Let's call this one O1, O2, and O3. And the radius is given, oops, the radius is given to be 16, 25, and 36. So the three red eyes are given this, of the three red circles. Okay. You have to be careful. The diagram is not drawn to scale. Of course, this is if this is 36, this cannot be 16. Visually, that's not true. But it's just a, a sketch, a schematic sketch of what's going on. So given the fact that this is 16, this is 25, and this is 36, the question is find R. Find this particular in radius. Find this in radius. So how do we do that? Well, there are a couple of things that we will have to do. First, let's use the notion of similar triangles. Similar triangles. So we'll learn how to use that. Okay. So I'll go to a new board and let me use a bigger picture. So this is A, B, and C. And we have this in circle let's draw that like this and the center of the in circle is o and we have the other smaller circle which is tangent to this in circle 
as well as these two sides and the radius of that is given to be 16 okay great in fact we can write this as r a because the circle is close to the vertex a so we can just use letters as well because we'll find a general formula so that we can use r a and r b this is r b suppose and this is r c we can use these three information when we will find the length of small r this is small r using the three informations r a r b and r c okay so let's see how we will do it so the first thing is let's join a with o1 and o so this is o1 and this is o the two centers so the question number one question one will a o1 o will they be on the same straight line remember we have to be very careful we are doing precise mathematics we are doing geometry we have to give reasons to everything so are a o1 and o on the same straight line now you can show that they are on the same straight line because if you draw this common tangent like this right here then this this particular circle is the in circle of this smaller triangle it's almost by definition therefore a o1 is the angle bisector of angle a that's how the in circle is created you go and go, what you do is you create you draw the angle bisectors and wherever they meet that particular point is the in center so a o1 is the angle bisector of angle a but similarly a o think of it as a separate line forget it forget for a moment that it's passing through o1 a o is the angle bisector of angle a because this is the in, in, in circle for this larger triangle so a o is the angle bisector of angle a a o1 is the angle bisector of angle a so clearly they must be on the same straight line because the angle a has only one angle bisector you see how we are using reasoning to even take care of the very small detail that's very important okay so now that we understand they're on the same straight line we can also join these two points and let's look at this suppose this is m this is n these two points wait so I'll make a little construction so these two are 90 degrees by the way because we know that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent so we can what we will do is we'll drop a perpendicular from O1 to this particular point so let's call it T O1 to T okay so this angle is angle A by 2 this is angle A by 2 because A O1 is the angle bisector and by using the properties of similar triangle this one is also A by 2 right because this little triangle is similar to this large triangle these two lines are parallel and they are both perpendicular to because they are both perpendicular to this one OM and therefore this big triangle and this small triangle are similar right so this angle right here that is a by 2 okay so what is this particular length this length o1m okay o1m is r plus ra o1m is r plus ra right that is the length of the small radius plus the length of the large radius right and what is ot ot is r minus ra remember this is ra so this is also ra this is a rectangle right so o ot is r minus ra r minus ra so we have this beautiful result that 
sin of a by 2 sin of a by 2 is opposite by hypotenuse so it's equal to r minus r a by r plus r a isn't it very beautiful we just use a little bit of geometry to prove that sine the value of sine a by 2 is very deeply related with these in red i and the small radiuses as well okay so what do we have here we have sine of a by 2 is r minus r a by r plus r a sine of b by 2 would be similarly r minus r b by r plus r b and sine of c by 2 would be r minus r c by r plus r c so what is our goal our goal is to find out the value of r using r a's value r b's value and r c's value these three things we know we want to find out r so some little bit of trigonometry will be involved and we will complete this in the next part of the video but if you know how to do it from here why don't you put your solution in the comment and i can see if it's right or not okay keep on doing great mathematics i'll see you in the next one take care